If you travel a lot and need a portable keyboard that doesn't feel like a crammed miniature version of what you really need, then I think I found the keyboard for you. This is the foldable keyboard from Samsers. Let's cover the specs first while I showcase footage of me unboxing this, and then I'll get into what I like and don't like about this keyboard before wrapping the video up. The Samsers foldable keyboard is a standard size keyboard with 78 keys and features scissor switch keys, which I'll do a test for in a little bit. This is 13.5 inches long, 4.5 inches wide, and roughly half an inch thick. The keycaps are 0.63 inches also, which are the same size as most regular keyboards. On the right hand side, you have the multi-touch trackpad with left and right mouse buttons at the bottom. Towards the top, you will find the LED light indicators to let you know what device this is connected to, if caps lock is on, and the battery status. Pressing the function and command key will let you know the battery life status by the light blinking one to four times corresponding to the amount of battery life with each blink representing 25%. This has a lithium 140 milliamp battery that has a 48 hour uninterrupted work time capacity and 560 hours of standby time. This takes two to three hours to fully charge and has a USB type C port for charging. And this port is on the top right hand side and then the power button is on the far right hand side's edge. The keyboard connects via Bluetooth to up to three different devices and has a 10 meter or roughly 30 feet range. This weighs 232 grams, which is roughly 0.5 pounds, so it's very light. And then inside of the box, you will find the keyboard, phone holder, type C charging cable, and user manual. The user manual outlines the large number of keys and functions as well as language switching based on the device or operating system you are using, so you want to make sure that you keep this as it will definitely come in handy. The list price for this is $54.99 with frequent sales, and there's currently a 25% off coupon, which would bring this down to $41.25. Next, let's do a quick sound test of the keyboard and the scissor switches to wrap up the specs section. Moving on, let's talk about what I like about this keyboard and cover some of the mechanical features it has, starting with the portability because that's one of the main draws here, and it's crazy to see just how compact this is while still being a standard size keyboard. The sliding hinges aren't a new design feature in general, but applying it to a keyboard is pretty cool to see. The outside edges have a rubber cover on them to help prevent this from damaging the keyboard, but it also has magnets inside of that, so this helps it stay securely closed. So no floppy keyboard here that makes a ton of noise. Once this is folded up, this is just a hair over 7 inches long, down from the 13.5 inches. It's still 4.5 inches wide, but this goes from half an inch thick to 5 eighths inch thick, which is extremely thin. I'll have a video of an iPhone 14 Pro Max on top of this for comparison. The keyboard being a standard size means you won't feel extremely crammed when using it like you would with other travel keyboards. This feels very comfortable when typing, even with longer typing sessions, but that can be dependent on the surface area you are typing on. So if the area in general is small that you have this on, I could see it feeling like it's crammed too tight, but that would be the case with any keyboard. 
The rubber grips on the bottom are solid and this will stay really well in one spot so it's not going to shift or slide around easily. The feel of the key switches is also very nice. It's very similar to a tactile switch for a mechanical keyboard. It's just not quite as clicky. I like that you have the option to connect this to three different devices, which makes this convenient, and the battery life here is outstanding. The keyboard isn't heavy, so the battery isn't very big to help with the weight, but it still delivers. The trackpad is really nice also, with performance being great as long as your Bluetooth connection is good. My PC doesn't have the best Bluetooth, so it was a bit laggy on that, but it was great on my laptop. I think a lot of people will most likely use this with their phone though, and the phone holder is a nice addition here, and it works great. I've set this up to type out some things for work, and it's been easy to use and very functional. Next would normally be the negative section, but honestly, I don't have anything to cover with that because I haven't seen anything really as a standout negative with this product, which is great. I do have a couple things that I want people to be mindful of though before getting this, so let's cover those. The first is that this doesn't have legs on the back to put this keyboard up at an angle. You could prop it up on something, but in terms of doing it with something that's built onto the device, it just isn't there. Last, this is made mainly of plastic, which helps make this very light, but it also means any heavy impact might break this. More specifically, any heavy impact to the hinges. And once those break, this would be very hard to repair. So a hard shell carrying case would be nice to have for this just to help prevent anything from damaging it. And that's actually going to wrap this video up. So only those two things to consider before you get this. Overall, I think this is an incredible portable keyboard for anyone who needs something that's very compact with a solid amount of battery life, but is also still a full-size keyboard. I'll have a link for this in the description if you want to pick this up. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer that for you there. If you like the video, hit the like button for me as it helps the channel out. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.